Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about some questions revision for end of the term 3 exam for grade 8. Okay, these questions I have taken from your reveal book of mathematics. Now let's start the lesson. First question type can be determine if each pair of figure is congruent. So, uh, before moving further into the question, you must revise for the congruency. What is the meaning of congruent? Congruent means same shape and size. Okay, same shape and size. Then it is called congruent. Means their shape should be same and their size also, dimensions also should be same. They should not change. Okay, now. If so, describe the sequence of transformations. Transformations means there are some types of transformations you have studied like translation. Translation means shifting. Okay. Translation means shifting only. Translations, rotation. Okay. Rotation means clockwise or counterclockwise if you remember. Then reflection. Reflection means image so with respect to x-axis or with respect to y-axis and the last was dilation okay so these are the four types of transformations if you know if you want to know something about these things in detail you can see my videos for that okay there are separate videos for every topic so transformation that maps one figure onto the other figure okay means they should overlap with each other they should cover each other if not congruent then explain why okay now try to understand such questions see if they are not congruent then it's okay because they cannot be mapped onto another one okay it's uh, finished but if they are congruent then there are many ways to cover them to map one function one figure onto another figure okay so just try to understand this thing first of all this picture is given to us triangle a b c now if you see if we take x axis as a mirror means i am talking about reflection okay so if you take x axis as a mirror then how you will find the reflection of the triangle a b c you see what is the coordinate of c coordinate of c now here I'll suggest you to pause the video and write the write that coordinate in the comment. This is coordinate of C will be 1, 2, 3 for X and for Y it will be 1. So 3, 1 will be the coordinate of C. Coordinate of 4 will be 4, 3 I guess. Just count the numbers. And then for A it will be 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4. For A it will be 1. 4. So, if I am taking the reflection in x axis, then how coordinate changes? Coordinate changes from x y to x minus y means value of x will be same, but value of y will be negative. Their numerical value will not change, but only the sign of y will be changed. So, coordinate of C, it is 3 1. So, what will be its reflection? Its reflection will be 3 minus 1. 3 1 will change to 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 where? It will come somewhere here. Okay. Now, another point is A. I am taking B or A you can take. No problem. 4 3. 4 3 will change to 4 minus 3. Okay. So, 4 minus 3 where it will go? It is, one, uh, it is 4. Then 1, 2, 3. So, it will come somewhere here. 4 minus 3 okay now the third point that is a coordinate of a is 1 4 so its reflection across x axis will be 1 minus 4 so it is 1 for x axis then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so point will come this side now how you will make the triangle this is the triangle for you so what is this triangle this triangle is reflection of a b c so this i am taking as a prime this is c prime and this is b prime okay so this a b c prime is the reflection of the triangle a b c now what else we can do now we can shift this triangle towards left 
to map onto this triangle okay so how how many blocks you will move you can consider any one point okay so i am taking a prime now so one two three four so four units left okay now for every point it will be the same it is not like that for one point it is four units then for another point it will change of course no okay so what all translation or transformations we are using here first we used reflection across x-axis and then second transformation was translation of four units left so by using two transformations we can map one function onto another and you can see this triangle will cover this second one okay so this is called mapping on the fig mapping of one figure onto another figure okay now like this another question can be same type of question first we have to check whether they are congruent or not okay so how it will be congruent just try to understand see this is one block this is also one block no problem very good now this is one two three this is also one two three or one two three no problem but one line one two three four five and here one two three only so it means these pictures are not congruent not congruent why because as their sides have different measures have different length okay whatever reason you want you can write but it should be in a proper mathematical way okay so if they are not congruent then there is no question of transformation okay i'm sure you understood this question another question can be parallelogram camp is congruent to site this is camp parallelogram and this is site okay now here it is given that they are congruent so no need to worry about the sites determine which sequence of the transformation map parallelogram camp onto site okay now you see my dear students such questions if it is in multiple choice question then with the choice only you can go through this you can you can you know you can think with the, with the help of choice but if it is a open response question then it has various ways to solve the question like i'll tell you see what is the coordinate of camp i am taking c coordinate of c is what it is uh, 1 for x and then 1 2 3 4 so 1 4 coordinate of a it is 1 2 coordinate of m it is 4 0 coordinate of p it is what is that uh, 4 and 2 okay now if you see if we rotate this camp all the points of camp with respect to origin in counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction then where will be the coordinate just try to understand first i'll tell you the formula for this for counter clockwise what's the formula x y and i'm talking about 90 degree only with respect to origin okay so x y will change to minus y x x y will change to minus y x okay for this rotation i have made another separate video in detail you can go through that video and i'm sure you will understand this concept of rotation also okay so if you rotate one four then what you will get you will get minus four one okay minus four one if you rotate one two then what you will get two minus one just as a shortcut i am telling you if you are rotating about 90 degree then what you will do you just interchange the values of x and y and change the sign of x value change the sign of first value x value okay why i have changed here the second sign see with the help of revision i got my mistake it is minus 2 and 1 okay now another will be 4 0 so what i told you for this uh, 90 degree counterclockwise just change the value of x and y interchange the values of x and y 
and change the sign of first number okay so here it is already zero so no need to put the negative sign now the last one four two so again change interchange the values of x and y and change the sign of the first number so these are the points so where is minus four one minus four and one so minus one minus two minus three minus four and one means it will come here and then minus two one so minus two here then one here this point and then zero four so one two three four this point is zero four and minus two four minus two four means minus two here and one one two three four here so these are the four points after rotating camp with 90 degree counterclockwise with respect to origin so this is the first transformation what i am writing in detail rotation of camp in 90 degree counterclockwise this is the first transformation so you will get parallelogram camp like this okay now what you can do now it's very easy for you it is one two three four four units down and just to double check you can check for any other random point okay so see one two three four so it means the second transformation will be four units down okay like this you can do this question so first transformation was rotation of camp parallelogram in counterclockwise direction 90 degree with respect to origin and second transformation was a translation of four units down okay now next question can be Muhammad created a logo shown here what transformation should be used to create the logo in figure a is the if the figure a is the pre image and figure b is the image so pre image means this is the original figure and this is the image or you can say reflected so what you can do here you can easily understand as i have told you if it is a free response question then you have many ways to solve this question okay i am taking this as a horizontal line you can say x axis so since axis is not given here so what you can do first transformation can be reflection across you can say x axis or vertical uh, sorry horizontal line it's okay reflection across x axis or horizontal line okay up to you whatever you want you can write reflection across x axis or horizontal line and second type of transformation will be then translation translation because here graph is not given to us so we don't know that how many units it will be translated but it has to be translated okay so first thing is reflection why reflection because after the reflection this figure will be reversed in upper direction like this and then if you shift towards left then it will map onto the green picture okay now another question can be the trapezoid qrst this upper one and its image are shown this down one lmno what transformation maps trapezoid qrst onto lmno now you see this is the multiple choice question so i want you to understand how you will analyze the choices given so dilation about vertex r dilation means you change the size yes so when we change the size then it cannot be congruent it cannot be mapped onto another one so this is not possible why because in dilation we change the size vertical translation vertical translation means you just move qrst down or up okay so by moving only it will not map onto itself because this is smaller side here it will go down here okay so it will not map reflection across a horizontal line so it seems to be little okay because if we draw a horizontal line like this maybe like x-axis then you see upper trapezoid 
will be looking like image of the lower trapezoid so it seems to be correct and rotation about the vertex o rotation means it may be but here it is no coordinate is given to us so let's stick on the reflection only so reflection across horizontal line okay like this you can solve the question and i am sure you understood this topic and if you have any problem you can write in the comment and if you think that such videos will help you to share your knowledge increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you